हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल समक्ष शिक्षण एंड हियर इज मैम रूपाली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए पोएम द पोएम इज द सॉलिटरी रिपर बाय विलियम वोट्सवर्थ लेट्स नो अबाउट द पोएट विलियम वोट्सवर्थ वाज बोर्न इन 1770 वाज ए मेजर इंग्लिश रोमांटिक पोएट when many poets still wrote about ancient heroes in grandiloquent style wordsworth focused on nature children the poor common people and used ordinary words to express his feelings and emotions he defined poetry as the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings arising from emotions recollected in tranquility this poem is also was inspired by the poet's trip to scotland in 1803 with his sister dorothy wordsworth it was published in 1807 and the poem is in the form of a ballad now what is a ballad a poem or song narrating a story in short stanzas like in sonnet it is fixed that in that poem there will be only 14 lines but ballad is uh, whenever poet writes it it is like flow on when it will end the poet himself cannot say and he carry on writes so that is called ballad okay so this is a in the form of this poem is also in the form of ballad now let's go through the poem okay now the i said the name of the poem is the solitary reaper now what is solitary no solitary solitary means a complete loneliness and reaper means one who harvest the crop is it or not rip means paka hua is it or not so the solitary reaper so paka hua on anaj ko kaatne wali hmm? that will be what reaper okay now let's go, go with the poems see behold her single in the field yon solitary highland lass ripping and singing by herself stop here or gently pass alone she cuts and binds the grain and sings a melancholy strain oh listen for the wail profound is overflowing with the sound the poet in the first stanza says that behold her means see carefully that girl no single in the field she is alone in the field yon solitary highland lass and that's yon means that's the lonely girl that is the scottish girl okay highland lass lass means a young girl stop ripping here stop here or gently pass and now the poet says to the passer by okay that stop here and listen to her she is singing a melancholy strain now melancholy strain means sad song she is singing something but poet cannot understand but her song her here is like a very sad song Oh, listen for the veil profound. Here, veil means talking about valley. Okay, deep valley is overflowing with the sound, and that valley, whole valley, no, deeply uh, means overflowing with the sound of that uh, solitary reaper, whatever she is singing. So, in the first stanza, poet says like that. Now let's come to the next stanza. No nightingale did ever chant 
more welcome notes to weary bands of travelers in some shady hunt among arabian sands a voice so trilling never was heard in springtime from the cuckoo bird breaking the silence of the seas among the fantast hybrids now here poet says that not even the nightingale nightingale is a also a singing bird okay but he never heard nightingale also sang like this uh, solitary reaper the way she is singing such a melancholy song okay and her voice was and her um, sound of her uh, song was uh, what whole valley was uh, overflowing that is why the poet says nightingale also cannot sing like that i never heard more welcome notes the very bands here very bands talking about the group of people who were already tired travelers and they are taking shade under the tree and among the arabian sands okay in arabian sands this group of bands tired group of uh, i mean people no they were also uh, travelers also were stopped there for her um, sound of her song a voice so trailing never was heard such a voice he has no it was never heard earlier in spring time from the cuckoo bird cuckoo bird same like nightingale a singing bird also uh, the singing that cuckoo bird breaking the silence of the seas no this cuckoo bird with uh, its beautiful voice used to break the silence of the seas among the furthest hybrids here the most remote group of island no that lie to the north west talking of the that place in that place cuckoo bird is uh, with its uh, voice it breaks the silence of the seas even dan poet says that uh, it 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 cannot be compared with the cuckoo bird also her voice is very beautiful will no one tell me what she sings perhaps the plaintive numbers flow for all unhappy far off things and battles long ago or is it some more humbly family a matter of today some natural sorrow loss or pain that has been and may be again okay here plaintive numbers means talking about sad music no one can tell that what she is singing poet says nobody can say perhaps it seems to be like a, a sad song sad song maybe about something happened to her earlier all unhappy things no or something about maybe battles wars no talking about that or is it some more humble lay or maybe it is simply she is saying like an ordinary song or or maybe it is related with the familiar day to day life so poet cannot understand what the girl is singing and she is lonely alone singing some natural sorrow loss or pain or something maybe disaster or uh um, something happened to her she lost or maybe pain she had some type of maybe grief sadness maybe for that she is singing no nobody could understand that has been and may be again so maybe like that she is singing nobody could understand no and it and her song seems heard to be a uh, sad music sad song poet says in the third stanza fourth stanza says whatever the theme the maiden sang no as if her song could have no ending i saw her singing at her work and over the sickle bending i listened motionless and still and as i mounted up 
द हिल द म्यूजिक इन माई हार्ट आई बोर लॉन्ग आफ्टर इट वॉज हर्ड नो मोर इन द फोर्थ स्टैंड पॉइट सेज दैट वॉट एवर द गर्ल सेंग और द गर्ल इज सेंगिंग इट हैज नो एंडिंग I saw her singing as she was taking the sickle, sickle, no, uh, one type of tool that is used by the reaper to cut the crops, no. So she was taking the sickle, bending and cutting. I listened to her music or her song. I was motionless, still. I was hearing, and now I am. no climbing up the hill and still i'm carrying her song in my heart and i'm not going to forget and it will remain in my heart so her song was so means touched that i cannot forget it will be always with me in my heart and it will be always heard since the song is in my heart so poet says in the fourth stanza in the in this way the poet tells us about a girl in this poem who is in a field alone as she is harvesting her crop crops and she is singing a sad tune which echoes in the deep valley so this uh, the central theme of the poem is the solitary reaper is a beautiful experience gives us life long pleasure okay so this was the poem i hope so you have understood and if you liked my this uh, explanation of the poem then you can like share and subscribe thank you students